Putin's agenda now has become almost genocidal. I'm going to erase Ukraine from the map of Europe. Well, the last time I heard anyone talking like that was some extremists in the near Middle East who said they want to erase Israel, right? That's genocide. Um, we, we've, as, as people, you and I growing up in the 20th century and now the 21st, you know, we understand that slogan, never again. Well, guess what? Never again is happening right now. Right now, as you and I see, speak, people are dying, people are fleeing for their lives, nuclear power plants are being shelled, uh, civilians are being targeted, the bombing, which started at first with some precision, is becoming more and more random. Friends I know in Kiev, who I was speaking to literally this morning, uh, are now thinking seriously about having to abandon the city. Mm -hmm. Kharkiv has resisted. The siege of Kharkiv is not going well. And I've been in Kharkiv. The last time I was in Kharkiv, the people at the front desk in a hotel, where you know you usually get people welcoming you and being as charming as they can because they want you to like the hotel, laughed at me because I spoke Ukrainian and they spoke mm -hmm. Russian. You know, they were Ukrainians, but they spoke Russian as a daily language, fine. But they laughed at my Ukrainian, and I, and I laughed back, and we made a little joke of it. It's a very Russophone city. It's a city where many people speak Russian because of historical experiences and so on. It's fighting desperately against the Russian invaders. So all this talk that we used to hear, well, you know, the eastern part of Ukraine is, is Russian, and, you know, these Russians want to be part of the Russian Federation. Well, if they do, why don't they just give up? And again... Well, the Russian minority, Putin tried this one, the Russian minority in, in this, these parts of Ukraine was discriminated against and experiencing genocide. Well, then why was there no fighting until February of 2014 in that region? None. I was, I was, I've been there many times. So this is, it's all made up or that the, the government of Ukraine is somehow Nazis. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So President Zelensky, whose father fought in the Red Army and who is of Jewish heritage, or the current Minister of Defense or the former Premier, all of who are Jewish heritage, are Nazis? I mean, that, that, there's your stretch. You know, so Russian disinformation picked up a lot of Soviet era propaganda and they keep spreading it. But the fact is, Ukrainians as a nation in all parts of Ukraine are fighting against the Russian invaders. Ukraine did not attack Russia. Russia attacked Ukraine. And so this is not going to be a cakewalk for Mr. Putin and his legions. And in fact, his legions are suffering enormous losses.